initiative to ensure access to affordable breast cancer medication, train healthcare professionals and volunteers and create public awareness about testing and early detection has been launched in Accra. Tourism Minister Madame Lisbeth Ofoswajari, who launched the initiative, said it will strengthen the government's resolve to help minimize the incidence of breast cancer in Ghana. Breast cancer is among the top five cancers and the commonest among women in the world. Globally, this disease is said to be on the increase, but in terms of mortality, it is on the rise in developing countries. According to the World Health Organization, breast cancer among Ghanaian women is on the increase. This situation has been attributed to lack of awareness and late detection, which could lead to death. Governments as well as cancer service organizations have over the years undertaken initiatives aimed at reducing breast cancer infection and death rates in the country. One such program is the Breast Cancer Walk, held annually to create awareness of testing and early detection. The Nidaso Healthcare Initiative on Breast Cancer, an AstraZeneca-funded initiative, will ensure access to affordable breast cancer medication train healthcare professionals and volunteers and create public awareness about testing and early detection. And it is all about is ensuring that the ladies suffering from breast cancer get the treatment they want, they need and that they should have. Let's work together, let's co-create, let's ensure that the mothers and the sisters, the ladies of Ghana get the treatment they deserve, the treatment they should have and let's hope that we can help as many ladies as possible with this AstraZeneca initiative. A member of the breast cancer management team at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Florence Dede, dispelled some misconceptions associated with mm. breast cancer. There's a notion or the thoughts that once you have a mastectomy done or your breast is taken off, inevitably death follows. So you offer this to the patients and a lot of them go away or are very reluctant to come and have the treatment done. But then there are many people we have, we, we have treated and we know who are still alive after having mastectomy done. The Minister for Tourism, Elizabeth Ufusui-Jari, lauded the initiative saying that it had come at an opportune time. Government will, under the NHIS, continue to ensure timeless access to treatment for breast cancer patients. We have no second chance to save the life of a breast cancer patient. Thus is the time. We must ensure that no woman dies of breast cancer as a result of lack of adequate treatment. It is my wish that more companies will follow the example of AstraZeneca. Some breast cancer survivors who shared their years of experience with the audience encouraged all women to have monthly breast checkup or examination for early detection, prevention and deaths.